Good evening. Here is the world news from BGI TV, Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Mori Re Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the world news. Buhari Bita, overkilling of traditional ruler in Imo, orders investigation. NBA asked minister to apologize over comments on court's judgments. Stop killing unharmed youth, Masor warns Nigerian soldiers. Nigerian university lecturers' protests declare lecture free day over Buhari's payments. Bandit kill teacher, youth leader, two others in Kaduna. Still on the world news, fire got Kanu Singer markets. Police parade suspected kidnapper, drug dealer in Niger State. Still on police arrest, as police arrest six suspects in Lagos. And to foreign story, Ghana President Sachs Junior Finance Minister over alleged corruption. And on sports, Toby Amuson makes top five in Women's World Athletes 2022 Awards. Now the news in detail. President Muhammad Buhari is saddened by the killing of Eze Ignatius Aso, the traditional ruler of Obudi Agro community in Oguta, local government area of Imo State, by suspected armed gangs, a test statement from the presidency as indicated. Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity to the President, Garuba Shehu, on Tuesday quoted Buhari as condemning the act in strong terms and ordering security agencies to swing into action to unravel the root cause. The president has directed security agencies in the state to thoroughly investigate the dastardly act and ensure that the perpetrators face the full wrath of the law, Shehu noted in a statement to the media. The presidency also quoted Buhari as commiserating with the family, friends, and Obudi Agwa community, as well as all of those affected by the attacks. He prayed for the speedy recovery of those injured while acknowledging the spirited effort by the Imo state government at improving the security situation. Buhari also admonished all Imo residents and citizens to robustly support the collective effort of state actors and members of the local community to keep everyone safe. Information says, recalls that since the incumbent governor, O Uzodoma, assumed duties, there had been security challenges in the southeast state, causing blame games among stakeholders in the states. Moving to the next story. The Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, has asked the Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Pauline Tallinn, to withdraw a comment on the judgment of the court and tender an apology to the court within seven days. The NBA made the demand via a letter dated November 14th and signed by its president, Yakubu Mekio. In the judgment of the Federal High Court in a suit between Nuku Rabadu and the All Progressive Congress, APC, and 20 delivered October 14, 2022, the court had, in resolving the issues, held that the Adamawa State APC governorship primary election, which took place on May 26, 2022, was invalid, having been conducted in a violation of the Electoral Act 2022 and the APC Constitution guidelines. The court consequently voided the return of the second defendant, Aisha to Ahmed, as the winner of the primary election, and in addition, refused the prayer for fresh primaries. The MBA noted that while speaking with journalists on the sidelines of the Global Reunion and Annual General Meeting of our Alma Mater, Federal Government Girls College, BIDA, the minister had referred to the state's and state judgment of the Federal High Court as a kangaroo judgment and also went on to justify our remarks with comments which were disrespectful and contemptuous of the court. Moving to the next story. The leadership of the movement for actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Maswar, says Nigerian soldiers must stop the unprovoked attacks and killing of unharmed innocent youth at Agu in Enugu State. Maswar queried the crime the youth of Agu committed to where around them being sent to an early group by the Nigerian soldiers. This was disclosed in a statement issued on Tuesday by the Maswar's National Director of Information, Comrade Edison Samuel. Part of the statement read, the leadership of the movement for actualization of the sovereign state of Bihafra, Maso, warned the Nigerian soldiers to stop with immediate effect the unprovoked attack and killing of unharmed youth in the community. 
Nigerian soldiers commander and commanded by General Muhammad Buhari led APC federal government should not push us to the war because there is a limit to human endurance. From that story, we go to the next story as regards the acid strike. Nigerian University lecturers under the platform of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, University of Lagos Unilag chapter on Tuesday, declared a one-day nationwide protest rally against the Mohammed Buhari-led government's no work, no pay policy against them. The agreed lecturers were seen protesting on the streets on Lagos State in a video shared on Twitter. ASU Unilag chapters sing solidarity songs as they hold a one-day protest over the payment of half salaries to members in October, the video was captioned. It was reported on Sunday that a union's National Executive Council member said there would be protests nationwide on the no work, no pay policy and half salaries paid to them for October by the federal government. We are protesting. Branches will choose their own dates. The government needs to understand that we are not casual workers, the source had said. A letter sent by the chairperson of ASUS, University of Lagos Chapter, Dr. Dili Ashiru, confirmed the situation, stating that the branch would protest on Tuesday, November 15, 2022. From the southwest to north, suspected bandits have killed four villagers, including a newly recruited school teacher in Kajuru, local government area of Kaduna State. The killings took place in two communities identified as Gefe Village and Tutumari in the same local government. The attack on Gefe claimed three lives, including that of the youth leader of the village. On Sunday night, Delhi Trolls gathered that a second attack, which occurred at Tutumari, the teacher, identified as Elijah as Zikri, was killed. A resident who simply identified himself as Benjamin said the youth leader and two villages were buried on Monday. The youth leader alongside two villages were killed by the bandit when they stormed the village on Sunday. They were buried on Monday. The bandit also killed a teacher at Tudumare village on Monday night, he said. The police command public relations officer, DSP Mohammed Jadige, promised to call reporter back after getting details of the incident but had not done so as of the time of filing this report. From Kaduna to Kanu States. A fire outbreak in the wee hours of Tuesday has gotten the Kano commodity market, popularly known as Kaswar Singa, located within the Kano Central District of Kano State. It was not immediately clear what was responsible for the inferno, but the incident was coming barely five days after a similar fire destroyed by the main markets. Eyewitness accounts said men from the Kano State Fire Service were already on ground to take control of the region inferno, which consumed mainly confectionaries. However, confirming the incident to correspondent on ground, the public relations officer, PRO of the State Fire Service, Malim Saminu Yusuf Abdullahi, said the fire started in the wee hours of Tuesday and had so far consumed confectionery such as biscuits, sweets, chewing gum, among goods including one block of building raised down. Abdullahi said firemen were on top of the situation trying to put out the fire at the time of filing this report. Moving on to the next story. The Niger State Police Command has arrested Wan Shehu Baidu, suspected of being a member of a kidnapping syndicate terrorizing Gurara, Lapay local government areas and its environs. The state command, through the police public relations officer, DSP Wasiu Abiodun, in a statement said a suspect was picked following intelligence reports. Shehu Baidu, an 18 year old from Congo, Lapay LG, the police is closed, confessed that between May 2021 and August 2022, he conspired with his gang members and invaded Gurara Dam site and Meijaiki village, where they kidnapped 10 persons. The police spokesman revealed that the suspect and his other seven gang members collected money of the range 2.6 million naira before setting the captives free. The gang members, including Mamas Malam, Sidi, Buba, Shehu, Abubakar, Kura Kura, and Chede, all males of no fixed address operated with three AK-47 rifles during the attack on the communities. According to him, he further confessed that in August 2022, he contacted one Shehu of Saminaka village via Lapai to purchase five soft drinks, five packets of cigarettes and two loaves of bread for him to take same to his gang members in their hideout. Similarly, Abiodun further disclosed that the command arrested a suspected drug dealer 
Chinedu Makata, age 34 years of Enugu State, will reside in Bangi, Mariga, LG. Moving on to the next story. The Lagos State Police Command has announced that six men have been apprehended by the force for the alleged kidnap of an eight-year-old girl. The police public relations officer in Lagos, SP Benjamin Udain, made this known via his Twitter page on Tuesday. Udain, who posted a picture of a suspect, said the victim is the daughter of a bereaved change operator in the state. He added that investigations carried out proved that all six kidnappers were fellow BDC operators within the same district as the father of the victim. He wrote, These six conspired and kidnapped the girl, child of a BDC operator. The girl was released three days later bound hands and feet in a sack. Preliminary investigations revealed that all the suspects are fellow BDC operators in the same business district of Lagos State. Now to the foreign story. Ghana's president, Nana Akufo Addo, on Monday sacked Charles Addo Bohemian, Minister of State for Finance, after allegations of corruption were circulated by popular Ghanaian investigative journalist Anas Aramim Anas. The statement from the presidency states that the president fired Mr. Adu after being made aware of allegations leveled against him in an expose, adding that Mr. Akufo Addo had also referred the matter to the special prosecutor for further investigations. Mr. Adu did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Finance Minister Ken Ofori Atta is also facing calls for dismissal from members of parliament who accuse him of corruption and economic mismanagement as the country faces its worst economic crisis in a generation. The allegations against Mr. Adu did not appear to be related to those previously raised against Mr. Ofori Atta. Mr. Adu could be seen in a video posted online by Mr. Anas who has circulated a lengthy email containing detailed allegations. Routers has not verified the authenticity of the video or the content of the email yet. To end the news, is a sports story. Nigerian track and field athlete Olua Tobiloba Ayo Mide Amuzon has made her way to the five finalists for the Women's World Athlete of the Year 2022 award. This was according to a statement released by the World Athletic on Monday as the countdown on the award event continues. A record 1.3 million votes were cast online and through emails using World Athletic social media platforms, the organization said. Amazon made the shortlist following a remarkable year, which saw us set a new record of 12.12 .12 seconds in the 100 meter orders at the World Athletic Championships Oregon 2022. The 24-year-old became the fourth Nigerian and African to accomplish the feats. That ends the world news from BGI TV. Before we go, some major headlines. Buhari Bita, overkilling of traditional ruler in Imo, orders investigation. We're also brought to you, NBA asked minister to apologize over comment on court judgments. Stop killing unarmed youth, Masob wants Nigerian soldiers. We're also brought to you, Nigerian University lecturers protest, declare lecture free day over half payment of salary. And on sports, Toby Amuzon makes top five in Women's World Athletes 2022 award. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Babagbagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Morire Rebila Lawa. Good evening. Oh, na 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 If you want to know What's going on in city Or you want to listen To the latest news and gist No stress, oh Just tune to BGI TV BGI TV Y'all want in the media Oh, na 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 If you want to know What's going on in city